Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the diagonal basket weave stitch for, um, in general, but specifically for this blanket pattern. And what I've done is I've uh, cast on 21 stitches here and worked them in seed stitch. This pattern will work for a um, multiple of two plus one, so the 21 is just going to be a little, a little mini blanket so that I could show you the beginning and the end of the knit and the purl row. Okay, so once again we have four rows in seed stitch. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to continue to work three stitches in seed stitch. So, and I've just found out that some countries this is called moss stitch. But it's varying knit and purl by row and working knits on top of purl. So you get this lovely little bumpy pattern. Okay, so we've worked our three stitches in seed stitch. And then we are going to skip the next stitch. So we're going to skip that one. And we're going to go to the one right next to it. And we're going to go into the back and we're going to knit it. All right. And okay. So we've knit that in the back. You see that? But we've kept these on the uh, left hand needle. Then we're going to move our needle up front and we're going to knit the one in front. Okay. And then we're going to let them both come off. Now one um, very strong caution is to knit looser than you normally would for this for this diagonal basket weave. If you knit a tight, if you're a tight knitter, this is going to be especially hard. Okay, so once again we're going to go in the back of this. So we're going to skip this one. We're going to go in the back of this one. All right. We're going to just knit it from through the back loop. Try to pull that out without. Okay. So, and then we're, but we still have it on the left needle. Then we're going to knit the one in front normally. And we're going to let them both come off. Okay. So you can see how we're already twisting a little and slanting. So let's continue that. So go into the next one over. Knit it through that back loop, keeping it on the left hand needle, and then knit the one in front. Pull them both off. All right. I'm a tight knitter. So it, I'm just kind of conscious of the fact that I need to li knit loosely when working on this stitch. When you get down to the last four stitches, you're just going to, on the knit side, you're just going to slip this next stitch knit-wise, just slip it, and then you're going to continue the last three stitches in seed stitch, and since this is a purl, we know that we're going to knit. Okay, and you can see those stitches going diagonally. Okay, now let's work the purl side. So we finish the knit side, one row, we're gonna do the purl side. Oops. 
and we're going to work those first three stitches in seed stitch. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our yarn to front to purl. We're going to skip this one. And we're going to, this, the purl side's easier. Just purl into the second one. Okay, and then bring your needle, keep the one you just purled into on the left hand needle, and then purl into the one in front, and let them both slide off. Okay, so we're going to skip over this guy, go into the next one, purl, go back to the one in front, purl her, hammer her, and let them off. Okay, the pearl doesn't require so much twisting around it, the pearl side. But you can hear if you're getting too tight, you're going to hear your yarn squeaking, and my yarn was just squeaking there. So I'm going to try to loosen up. One way to loosen up is pull a little bit before you cast off, you know, before you let the needle, the stitch, stitches come off. You know, just stretch those loops a little bit more. Okay, just stretch them. in this pattern till we get to the last four stitches. All right, and we're just gonna s s let him slip pearl-wise. All right, let him off. Keeping your yarn in front, then bring your yarn in back to knit the seed stitch. Oops, sorry about that. Crazy needles. All right. On the knit side, our slants were going to the left, and on the purl side, you can say, see they're going to the right. And we're just going to keep going back and forth in that pattern with the uh, seed stitch on either end. <laughs> 